Alright everybody, today I'm going to completely disassemble a 66cc two-stroke motor. First off, you want to start off by taking off your head, head bolts. This one has a fret head. It's not what comes on it normally. This one's just got a little bit higher compression. Um, same concept though, these four bolts, that, I mean, these four bolts on top, I'm going to take them off. This is a mildly modified engine, so you will have a little bit different items inside if yours is stock. Alright, so there's the head. Put these out of the way. Try to keep everything as organized as you can get it. See your head gasket. Take that off. And the jug should just pull right off. Watch your base gasket so you don't rip it. Come on. We got that one bad stud. That's why we're tearing this apart. Stud this one. Alright. So, once you got the jug off, you, uh, you take off the piston X and there's these two little clips inside, one on each side that are kind of a pain in the butt to get out, but come on. Oh, this one's bent up. Probably a good thing we're tearing this part. Alright, there's one, you gotta watch these because they will go flying. Alright, there's two. So now that you got those out, what you gotta do is, there's the wrist pin right here. Should slide right out just like that. Your wrist pin. Make sure to try to keep everything organized while you can. Uh, the reason I'm tearing this down is because I got a stud that's stripped out. So I'm uh, going to do some work on the bottom end while I'm at it. So now, I've already loosened these ahead of time, but I'm going to take the clutch cover off. This is a DAX bottom end, so it's got the upgraded hardware. Gasket. Put everything in the cover so you remember where it's at. Let's see here. This is Phillips. Get the flower locking nut out of there. I loosened this prematurely. Oh, watch out for your wrist pin bearing. Don't forget about that. You don't want that going down in the bottom end. Uh, so, because I loosened this prematurely, I can't tighten up the clutch. So, hang tight. Alright, so, this clutch. Gauge the clutch so you can get the flower nut off. Alright, you get the flower nut off. This clutch plate should fall off. Pull the spring out. And then, this where it gets kind of tricky. You got this nut right here. It's a 19 millimeter that you got to get off. But you got to stop this sprocket from spinning on the other side. So, what I do is get 
that on. I take a pair of pliers. I feed one end in. See if I can get it here. All right. I think that did it. So you feed the pair of pliers in there on the bottom so this so the clutch doesn't spin. Take that off. Make sure you keep with everything else. And you'll have this little let's see if I can get it out. It's supposed to be a like a lock washer. If I can get it out. That'll be underneath that nut. And then you need to get your puller. Hold on one second. Now you got your puller. It's a two-piece system. What you want to do is kind of a crappy part, but thread that on there. Thread it on there. And then I put pliers back in. So I can thread it on there a little bit more so I don't strip out the threads. Never be too careful. Okay, now that we got that on there a little bit more, put it in this side on top. And I'm pretty sure this 14, 14 millimeter. Take your 14 millimeter clutch puller, and then you start tightening this down. Come on. Pain in the butt. But there you go. Now that you got that off, you gotta take this clutch puller back off because they'll need that elsewhere. This part's always the fun part because you, uh, can never seem to get this off of right here because you tightened it down, so I just use a pair of pliers and grab it. Alright, there's pullers off now. Put the clutch, clutch gear with the rest of the clutch parts. Now here's the fun part. This one from the factory is always super tightened, so it's it's impossible to get half the time. So what I do is I take a pair of pliers, grab onto the gear, and then you gotta try. Oh wow, that actually came out super easy. Kind of makes me wonder. All right, so now. Got this one on. Pull out that uh, lock washer, whatever you want to call it. And this one threads on this. Use the other side of it. Thread it on there. A pair of pliers so you can get a little bit better in there. Alright, so now that we got that off, I'm going to put them, let's see here, i do the exact same that you did with the uh, clutch sprocket. Should come right off. 
just like that. Like nothing. All right, now there are a couple parts that you really do not want to forget about while disassembling this engine on the on each of these sprockets you're going to pull. There's these things called wood rough keys and I don't know if you can see but right there there's one sticking out and then there's another one sticking out right here and these are usually a pain in the butt so what I do is I take a screwdriver and a rubber mallet and be real gentle wasn't really gentle, but it's out in one piece. Wood rough key right here. Now you want to make sure not to lose those at all. Like I said, there's one on each sprocket. There's one right here as well. Let's see if we can get that one off. There we go. Alright, there's both of them. Now this side is complete. Um, so now we're going to move over to the other side. We don't want to get into any of these yet. Get on the other side. All right. Like I said, I pre-loosened these covers. So they just come off. All right. This is the magneto side. Don't forget about your gaskets. All right. With magneto side, sometimes right here you will have a screwed in piece of plastic and you have to get that out before you uh, get off this magneto because otherwise the the wires won't thread through or feed through very well you'll have one heck of a time getting this thing off so what you want to do is find the right bolt and there's a socket to fit that there's this bolt right here I mean this nut right here on the very top of the uh, magnet. What you gotta do is try to hold the crank. Get that off. Actually, you know what? This will be easier. If you take off the magneto, make sure you watch parts so you don't lose any. Take the magneto. Take off the four screws that hold it on, the Phillips flat pattern. Then as you take those four off, you should be able to just take off the magneto, feed through some wires so you can Start pulling it. Alright. Now you got all that finished. Put that off to the side. Take your pair of pliers. Hold the side of the magnet or the magnet hold the side of the uh, pair of pliers, it seems like. And then loosen that nut. Come right off. It'll, it'll stick to itself. Now you won't lose any parts of that. Now everything's stuck together. Oh, Woodruff key fell out. There's one right here to uh, to make sure your timing's right for your magneto. So you gotta watch that and make sure you don't lose that Woodruff key. All right. Something I forgot about was the base gasket. Gotta make sure you get your base gasket off. Looks like I already ripped this one. Great. Base gasket. All right. So last little bit. Now take the clutch arm cover off. Alright, 
Now that we got that off. Uh oh. I make a mistake. Alright, you've got that 19 millimeter bolt right there on this side as well, which is going to be a pain in the butt. So, have to take your socket, get it on there, and uh, feed your pliers into your gear. It won't move. See about getting that off without breaking your hand. Alright. Alright, now you got that nut off. This is where it gets kind of greasy. Now there is a tiny ball in here. Let's see if I can get it out. Oh there's the lock washer, whatever you want to call it. A tiny ball in there. It doesn't seem to want to come out at the moment, but I think we can continue without getting that out. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. So you gotta take your puller, thread on your puller. Feed in your pliers so you can tighten down your puller a little bit just to make sure you don't strip out any threads on accident, you don't want to do that. Because then you'd be down a river without a paddle. Alright. So now, you got to pull off this one exact same way as you pulled off all the others. 